Controllers don't fly airplanes. Pilots do. Right now, we're in pretty solid IMC, with some patches of visibility below us. We're inbound at Tri-Cities Airport. We've picked up the weather at our destination. It's currently reporting VFR there with 7 miles of visibility, scattered clouds at 5,500, and a broken layer at 11,000. You check in with Approach, and they tell you to expect vectors for the visual to runway 23. The visual? You can't see anything. What should you do here? Answer Roger and hope ATC vectors you out of the clouds? ATC doesn't know you're in the clouds. As long as the destination has a ceiling at least 500 feet above the minimum IFR altitude with at least 3 miles of visibility, ATC can issue you a visual approach. The ceiling here is 11,000 feet, so as far as they're concerned, you're good to go. But you can't obviously be cleared for a visual approach until getting the airport or a preceding aircraft in sight, and you're in the clouds. Instead, we tell ATC that we need an instrument approach. The RNAV into 2-3 will work nicely as it has LPV minimums. They tell us to expect that, and so we load the approach for the RNAV runway 23. ATC then tells us to turn right, heading 320, and descend and maintain 6000. Since we're now on vectors, we can activate vectors to final. They're putting us on a left base to intercept the final approach course a few miles outside the final approach fix, ACETA. It's important that we know what to expect from ATC on all approaches, but as we'll see, especially on this one. ATC will descend us to 3600, the glide path intercept altitude, and then about a mile from the approach course, turn us to a 30 degree intercept, which will be a heading of 260 degrees. We'll then be cleared for the approach. During the descent, ATC tells us the airport is at our 10 o'clock. We're below the clouds now, but it's still pretty patchy and we don't see anything. ATC then tells us to continue our descent down to 5200. They're going to get us as low as they can in order to allow us to spot the runway. After all, according to the weather, we should be well below the lowest cloud layer, which is reported at 5500 AGL. But ATC doesn't see what we see. We level at 5200, and ATC once again calls out the runway at our 10 o'clock and 11 miles. We do make it out this time, but it's very important we don't give in to the pressure we feel and tell ATC we see the airport, unless we're absolutely sure, because after we report runway in sight, we get cleared for the visual approach. ATC's job of vectoring and providing terrain avoidance is done now. It's up to us to navigate visually to land. What's the best way to handle this in hilly, maybe unfamiliar terrain? Let's just stick with the plan where we were going to intercept and fly the RNAV we already have programmed in. Rather than ATC turning us in, we'll provide our own navigation. So we go down to 3600, the glide path intercept altitude. We need to, of course, make sure that we're not going to smack into terrain on the way down to that altitude. It's only protected once we're on the published segment of the approach. We'll then look at the cross track on our HSI to see when we're a mile from the approach course. When we're there, we'll turn to our 30 degree intercept heading at 260, just like ATC would have turned us. We can then arm approach mode and the autopilot will capture the lateral guidance and then, when the glide path comes in, capture the vertical guidance and bring us down. Then we can just fly the approach as we normally would, getting handed off the tower and cleared to land. If this were a non-towered airport, we'd want to figure out when and how to close our IFR flight plan. As an alternative, we could have switched our guidance to the G1000 visual approach, but since we already had a perfectly good approach activated, there's no need to add tasks at that moment. Also remember that just because you see the airport and you're in visual conditions, you don't have to accept a visual approach. We were told to expect the RNAV, we could continue flying the RNAV all the way down to minimums if that's what we want, even if it's a perfectly clear day. Don't feel the pressure from ATC just because they keep calling out the airport to you to accept a visual approach if you're not ready for it. We don't do enough visual approaches, but they're a big part of IFR flying. Keep your skills sharp with our full IFR ground school. It's not just for student pilots. Check it out at the link here and in the description today.